Welcome to automarsrap.com. Today we are so pleasure to introduce you YouTube playlist software which can create thousands of YouTube playlists automatically, intro insert videos into playlist, create YouTube channel as well as customize the title and tag of playlist. After downloading and installing the software, you will launch in with the provided username and password and then you will see the interface here. There are several basic settings you need to set up before running any function and the first one here is action session. There are two options for you to choose. The first one is create playlist and the second one is insert video. The software will create YouTube channel automatically for the accounts which don't have any channel on YouTube. Next is run session. If you set it at the default, the software will run continuously until you stop it manually and you can put any other number here. For example, if you want the software run 1000 times and then stop automatically, you put 1000 here. Next is user agent. When you purchase the software, we will provide you a user agent file, just download it and then click on this icon, select the user agent desktop provided. Next is tracks. Tracks is the number of tabs that will be run at the same time. For example, you put three here, three accounts will be launched in and then run at the same time. Provide the number of tracks which comply with your computer configuration. Next is IP option. There are four choices for you to choose here. And if you select DCOM at the session, remember to attach the DCOM to your computer and then set the track here is one. Next is use proxy. If you select to use proxy, you need to import proxy with Gmail accounts. And I will instruct you later at Gmail session. Next is file proxy. When you select file proxy, move to the file proxy session. There are two options for you here. The first one is live from URL. You need to paste the link of the drags of proxy here. And the second one is live from file. You need to create a text file to save proxy. For example, these are our proxy, consistent of IP import, and then click to save. At file proxy, you click on this icon, select the file proxy created, and in case you select no at IP option, the software will run with the IP of your computer. Next is Gmail section. You need to import Gmail accounts here. So click on this icon data. This is a database manager dialog box. There are two ways for you to import data. The first one is you do it manually. So you will click on this icon, select add group. Then you will type the group name here. For example, I will type tutorial. Then click OK. Then select this group. Click on this icon. Select Add Item. You will enter the Gmail address here at Email Session. Then enter Password. You need to enter Recovery Mail into the email to session. Next, add proxy and port sessions. If you select use proxy at IB option session, you need to import proxy and port here.
For example, these are Brazil import. Next is channel name section. If your account has one user channel only, or the account has many user channels, but you want to use the main channel, just leave this blank, and then back to the custom channel session, select no at this session. Otherwise, if your account has many channels and you want to use the sub channels, you select yes at custom channel here. And back to the data, you need to enter the name of that sub channel in the session. For example, I will enter QNISLAV3 here. Then click OK. The software will update the other parameters automatically after creating playlist. And another way for you to import data is create a text file. Name it an account. And then you will enter the parameters here. You can see the first one is Gmail address. Comma password, comma recovery mail, comma IP port, and in case you don't select use Rossi at IP option session, you will leave it at blank, blank and comma. And for example, I will enter the sub channel name here. Similarly, you can enter the other Gmail accounts here and then click to save. And click on convert. Import CFE, click on this icon, select the text file created. You can see if all the parameter had imported here. You can click on this icon to rename the group. For example, I renamed the tutorial to for easily remember. And then click close the dialog box. At Gmail session, select a group of accounts that you want to run. I select tutorial. Next is folder cookie session. Create a new folder to save logic status of accounts. Then you get the path of this folder. Copy this and paste it into the folder cookie session. Next is random delay section. This is the time that the software will delay before the next click. So the unit here is millisecond. If you set it 5,000 to 20,000, the software will delay 5 seconds to 20 seconds before the next click. Next is folder data. Similarly as folder cookie, you will create a new folder, name it as data, and then copy the path, paste it into the folder data section. Next is slip. Slip is the time that the software takes breaks among the tracks. You can set it uh, any times that you want. The um, unit here is millisecond. For example, you want to set uh, 5 seconds to 7 seconds. You will put 5000 to 7000 here. Next is the key capture.com. You will leave it at the default. I've just instructed you our basic setting of this software. Now we will run the create playlist function. First, at action session, you select create playlist. Then move to the playlist title section. You will create a text file to save the title of playlist.
Then remember to enter each title per line. Then click to save. At playlist title section, you click on this icon. Select the playlist title text file created. Next, with text list section, you create a text file to save text which are related to the titles. Similarly, you will enter each tab below. Then click to save. At tag list section, click on this icon, select the text file created. After creating playlist, the software will link to a random video. There are two options here. First, if you select no at insert video directly like this, the software will stop and at videos playlist, you set 3 to 4, the software will link to 3 to 4 random videos, and then just click OK to run. Another option is you will select Yes at Insert Video directly, and the software will link to the main video that you want. And remember, at Link to Insert the Session, you create a text file to save link of main videos that you want to link to. For example, this is the video that I want to link to the main video after creating playlist. Paste the link. Similarly, you can paste other link. Then click to save. Add link to insert session. You click on this icon, select a text file created. Then at video position, you put the position of the main video. You set at one to like this. The main video will be placed at first or second position. And if you place one, one to this, the main video will be placed on the first position in the playlist. Then click OK to run. You can click on Show Browser to see how the software creates playlist.
If you select no at insert video directly, the, the type will stop here. And when you select yes, the software will continue to insert the main video here.
Now we will run the insert video function. So at action session, you will select insert video and move to the link to insert section here. You will create a text file to save link of videos to insert. I will use the previous link. This link and I will add more links or video to insert here and then click to save. Next, add videos playlist or video position. Do similarly as the create playlist function. I want to insert video into the playlist which has just been created. So now just click OK to run. If you want to insert video into the other playlist, click on this data and then enter the playlist name and playlist URL here. You can click on this icon to add playlist name and playlist URL. Now OK, click OK to run. Click on Show Browser to see how the server insert video into the playlist.
this demonstrate that above are instructions on how to run the YouTube playlist software to create thousands of YouTube playlists and insert video into that playlist automatically. You can visit autobotstop.com to see my useful software. Thank you very much for your time. See you in the next video.